हेलो हाय एवरीवन सो एज प्रॉमिस टाइम हियर एंड सो वी आर हैविंग दिस वंडरफुल चैट टुडे व्हिच इज एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ द टेन वीक्स ऑफ युक्ताहार प्रोजेक्ट एंड एज एवरीबडी नोज आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू यू नो सेंड अ रिक्वेस्ट uh to people who have participated in this project so that you know we can just know each other better i can probably you know now put a face to your names and even the uh, your colleagues like the other participants who are with you they also get to know you so without any further ado let me do that and okay so i'm just trying to figure this Okay, so I can see Divya Sareen, but somehow I can't invite you. Um, so maybe I, I think I'm invited. I'm here. Oh, okay, great. So uh, please introduce yourself. Oh, Divya, this is Divya, right? Yes, yes, this is Divya. Hi, hi, Moon Moon. Oh. How are you? Sorry, I'm good. Still, still morning here in US. So yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm happy we could do this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, I just know you from your DP. So I at once I recognized it. Yes, this must be you. Yes, uh, this is me, and uh, I have been following this program for like now more than two weeks, and I feel great. I'm in um, uh, more than weight loss. It just feels so great in my tummy because uh, with my previous diets, I realized that I was always constipated. I was eating so less, but now yeah. with the, all these supplements I've ta- I'm taking, I I have PCOD, and I feel that. Uh, I don't know whether it was insulin resistance earlier or what, but right now, all of a sudden, my appetite has automatically gone down. Initially, when I used to eat lunch, I would take two, three servings because I felt like I should keep eating. But now, it's it's like I just take one serving and I eat and I sit quietly and I eat and it's just it feels amazing. And after that, for the very first time, I'm not feeling an urge to eat sweets. Otherwise, I would just run towards this chocolate box or. all the sweets i have in my house but i right now i do not do any of it so yeah because then what we eventually what we feel is that you know ki are hum you know we be lack will power yes i am somebody who cannot do this see others are so disciplined but i just have to eat sugar and i can't live without chocolates yes but what what actually happens is because of these random diets that we do our physiology becomes such that they actually make us crave sugar and instead of recognizing that it's the diets to be blamed we start blaming ourselves yes so 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 the moment you get on a nice routine what happens is that you also become sensitive to satiety so which means that ki aapko uh, sahi time pe you understand that i'm no longer hungry with a small serving like you said you understand that you are you know pretty much full so you're becoming more sensitive to your fullness to your hunger to your you know wants and needs of the body which which i think is a brilliant thing yeah and and amazing part is that uh, i do not feel the urge to have more rice which i would initially and i used to think that my body is not able to control and it's my fault but now i realize yeah. it wasn't my fault it was something inside maybe the hormones or whatever that uh, which would uh, just uh, not let me stop uh, to you know go to eating the, yes yes but right now it's it's happening on its own and i haven't missed a day with any of these supplements and i think trifla is magical i don't know what uh, it is but it is it, it i feel so good even with the coconut thing i do like the coconut oil pulling and uh, the toothpaste you recommended i'm trying that uh, my husband and son also use it they aren't but uh, i i am when just uh, spot on with it it feels great i have this problem of bleeding gums too and uh, when you mm-hmm. mentioned it i was like i should not just wait and i should start doing it and you won't believe i feel so good in my mouth i think one cavity which i was developing is has also started to go away so i will see i mean i'm going i'm not going to stop i'm going to do this for a year my only question to you is munmun like how long can we take these supplements because i'm going to do like my two weeks are completed in phase 1 but i still want to continue i i did hmm. submit it in the form that i just drank a coffee one time with milk yeah yeah that's completely fine i i read yeah. all the forms trust me yeah. uh, it's not that it's read by my team i personally read all your progress forms i personally yeah. read all the comments that you people make 
and i know you had mentioned in actually the progress form about the coffee that you and i think that was an excellent thing that you did because you knew that if i don't drink this i'm just continuously going to think about it yeah. so 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 i think that was fabulous the way you analyzed the situation and the way you took that step yeah. uh, i think that was really really great so don't even think about it okay. it's completely fine and any which way you know coffee is not banned in any of the phases yeah you can have the coffee with nut milk every day because once i know you had the coffee with coconut milk as well yes yes so yes. that is perfectly fine you know and uh, the, so the, yeah the thing is wonderful here because in us so many varieties of good coconut milk and i read everything like you won't believe i used to use this maggi masala in uh, whatever preparations i used to make <laughs> just to add taste i have removed that as well because i realized that yes. it was a nova thing and uh, it might uh, yes. hurt my gut so So the, yes, yes, completely. So I have been yes. using nut milk. There are coffee shops which they make their own nut milk in front of you. So I drank mm. this coconut milk coffee. I make my own nut milk at home. But yeah, just one time I drank it, and I was like, I should just mention it. But then it it wasn't like I wasn't feeling guilty after it because I really wanted yeah. to have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. So what happens like when we work one on one with clients? Like even if like initially we tell them that okay, have a light dinner, have khichdi. and you know it's kind of an effort i will admit to make a change because even if you have to say put your remote control in a different place in the house it's an effort yes. because for the next 10 days you have to keep reminding yourself here it's not there it's here yes so every small change that we make requires effort and, and that's the reason why i say that you people are the heroes of this project because it's you people who are making all the efforts but having said that once they make that effort and then eventually even when they come in phase 3 where everything is allowed so to speak yeah. and they go out for dinners or whatever because of some social obligations they actually you know text me that oh god this uh, you know i feel i i miss that uh, you know a feeling good that we get after having a light khichdi dinner yes yes so they want to go back to that feeling and that's exactly why they keep continuing the you know principles of tbbd it's not a compulsion for them you know it becomes almost like a part of their system and that is when things become sustainable and and it feels so beautiful even with millets so i i millets came into my life last year only i started making some of it yeah but then i yeah. i wasn't knowing the right technique and i asked my mom and she used to make roti of it so we used to eat very randomly but then i realized yeah. that it does need a lot of water and two times when yeah. i did millet i did not put enough ghee and then nobody yeah. in my family was able to eat it uh, nicely because i didn't realize that you know this is how you make it thankfully you did that uh, video on it and then i realized okay something which requires ghee you have to give it ghee otherwise it's no point because uh, it uh, yeah yeah uh, yes yeah yeah and ghee is something which is great so you know you just have to uh, have ghee and uh, you know millet is something that requires ghee so we have yeah. Vishwanath, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so we also have uh, Divya here, and that's uh, Vishwanath. So Vishwanath is also from. Uh, you're from uh, outside from, India, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm from the US. Uh, I'm. I live in New Jersey, uh, in the East Coast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. Atlanta, Vishwanath. Nice to meet you, Divya. Nice to meet you too. Yes. So yes, Vishwanath, I read your form, and it said that you know your glucose is well managed now. Your blood glucose levels uh, have become better. Uh, so, so tell me about it. Like, how how do you uh, feel? And basically, anything. What do you want to share? So many people are listening to you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's great. So you know, it's great that I uh, I'm not. To be frank, I don't you know go into Instagram. My wife you know goes. She recommended me, and then uh, you know I. I didn't have, you know, I used to have account, but I was not active. Then I, on January second or third, that's where I think you launched your book. That's where. Yes. Then you talked about the program, so I joined the program, and then. So did you thank your wife for this or not? First, tell me that. Yes, actually, she. <laughs> yeah, honestly speaking, I, I thanked her, and then uh, it was because of her I joined, and you know, at any house that right, you just cannot have because of the meal plan, it has you need a company like. it's otherwise yeah. it gets difficult that you have to prepare a meal for a uh, different meal for yourself and then you know your for your family. absolutely yeah so yeah. i'm pretty yeah. sure everyone is going through the same uh, you know situation <laughs> phase <laughs> at home so just to give a background so i am you know diabetic so i um i 
I wear a continuous glucose monitor where, you know, you can scan and uh, check the results. So uh, after, you know, taking the program, and again, I started just one or two days before you officially started the program. So, uh, <laughs> so I did the first week and then I started seeing, and also I, I do strength programming. So I started seeing a significant change because uh, my, you know, glucose level, uh, sugar level uh, kept dropping. So, and game changes are typically with rice. I usually see, again, it depends on body to body. So, I, you know, it's different for everyone. For if I of eat course. rice with, you know, sabji or lentils, uh, dal, then I see a 120 or 130 jump from whatever your level is. But after incorporating millet, I used to eat millet last year, like Divya said, uh, but it was not, I didn't use it every day. It was, you know, uh, maybe <laughs> random. Two, yeah. Random. Yeah. yeah. Um, the level, just to give all of you, our listeners, a context is that the level of sugar uh, that goes up is around 70 to 80 compared to 120 to 140 that happens when you, you know, take uh, sugar. So similarly, you know, after applying the, you know, don't eat if you're not hungry, after applying yeah. philosophy. Uh, so I've seen, you know, the sugar has been, uh, level has been great in last two weeks. And uh, again, related to appetite, whenever it's evening, we uh, typically, you know, get some uh, samosa from outside or, uh, you know, that, uh, that craving has also gone away. So that's, yes. you know, that's, that's uh, great so far. And uh, the, at least the urge to eat sweet is like, unlike Divya, is still there for me, but it's not, <laughs> yeah. you know, that much. Like after lunch or dinner, we, you know, used to eat something sweet, you know, it, whether it's, yeah. um, it's just natural that, you know, you have to eat. You, it's very difficult for, to train your mind and your body to say, you know, don't eat that because you have been doing that since so many years. Mm. Yeah. But, but right now we are able to control at least right now, even if we, let's say we have had uh, 50 meals in last, you know, two weeks out of 50, mm. maybe once or twice, we might have eight, uh, you know, something s sweet, but otherwise we have been able no, to. No, but uh, yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, uh, as long as you're, uh, you know, you're managing the serum glucose levels, which is in simple language, I'll say blood glucose levels. Right. Uh, in 15 days, if you're having sweet just once, it's not bad. It depends on what kind of sweet, right? Um, uh, you know, if you're having like good quality jaggery or honey, yes. uh, for that matter, it's it's not going to be bad. You're not, um, you know, it, it, it's very different than the, than a pastry or a muffin that you would probably buy from a, yeah. a swanky coffee shop. Um, so, so it really, uh, you know, depends on that also. And that's like what you said, what we have been discussing, what Divya was also saying that when it becomes a part of the system, you yourself don't feel like having, like the cravings are not happening yeah. and you don't feel like eating. And that's, I think, half of the battle won uh, because otherwise, you know, you keep, it's like always a battle. Yes. You know, uh, my tongue is saying eat it. My mind is saying don't eat it. So you're constantly having that battle between your tongue and your mind. But now suddenly everything is in sync. Yes. You know, everything is in balance. They all are on the same page. And then, of course, you know, every then, you know, life is in harmony, then, you know, good things happen. So, and, uh, and also, I would like to bring up this fact that, you know, a lot of people believe or feel that gut uh, work or any gut program that you do is only for the gut. But when you hear things from Vishwanath or Divya, even Divya talks about PCOS, which is, again, related to insulin insensitivity. And then we have Vishwanath, who is also diabetic. So it clearly shows that when you work on your gut, it affects every aspect of the body, just not your digestion, but it affects uh, everything. Yes. And just the, one last question. Yeah, yes. yeah, please tell me. No, I was just thinking that uh, it's it's weird that how I used to think that it's my, it's under my control that I'm not able to stop yeah. my craving. But I think these supplements, uh, they are doing something in my gut that uh, make me believe that it wasn't my fault that I was uh, running towards uh, uh, yeah. everything I was seeing on the table to eat. It was something actually happening that was forcing my body to eat more. But now that uh, I'm in sync and my gut is improving, I feel that it wasn't my fault and I feel gr great because initially it was just guilt. Diet after diet, it adds guilt to your part that, oh, you were not able to do it. 
Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, just one last thing, uh, because you both are, uh, you know, people residing outside India, both are from US. Yeah. So, um, how do how how difficult do you think it is logistically, you know, preparation wise, cooking wise, because you guys don't have help around, right? Yeah. So, um, of course, you know, uh, when we work one on one, we have a lot of NRI clients, and let me tell you my experience first. i can tell you tell everyone very very uh, with lot of conviction that in our one on one consultation it's our nri clients who do much better than our indian clients it's a fact and it's a lot because what i observe it's because in india we have a lot of these social obligations yes uh, someone's wedding somebody has come home and all of those gets really minimized once you live anywhere outside india and uh, that i think is a major uh you know a, a trigger because i feel that my uh, uh, clients like the nri ones do much better in the program um and also because they are very used to cooking they are very used to doing things and they are very used to making these preparations so it doesn't come as a very big you know thing on their head uh so this is has been my personal experience but you tell me logistically how has this been for me so i work as well and i do not find it uh, difficult at all when uh, the, when i read about the supplements i just googled and everything was readily available the only thing was daru haldi which took a little bit of time and you said that just continue with what you have and that's exactly yeah. what i did and it wasn't tough even with cooking i do not find it uh, difficult uh, anymore with millets i just soak them a little extra and cook and uh, it's pretty much easy and it's so basic like you have everything available i think more things are available here as compared to from a place where i was in india so it's it's pretty easy for me here i do not find it what easy. about you yeah yeah that's nice what about you um mishuna yeah for my um on my case right so it was you know the primary initiative was from my wife so it it was much more <laughs> easier right so because she she cooks you know 90% of the time and uh, and for me i travel typically but in last one and a half year because of covid we have we are remote but i travel monday mm. to thursday i'm you know always right. on the road um mm. that would have been little challenging it would have been challenging because you know you're always yeah. eating outside now yeah. logistically getting getting um, the herbals you know got everything except daru haldi which i got after 10 days uh, but that's it ah. okay i was i was uh, managing uh, with the remaining uh remaining uh you know like trick or two everything was available except the daru haldi uh cooking also yeah. is is fine you know it because you know my wife and we are part of the journey together right so she is also doing this uh, following the program uh so it has been relatively okay and as you said we are used to doing things on our own so we mm. control our you know own cooking uh, timings and everything here we don't get much help in the uh, in the states or outside india um so that's one pro or good thing that helps us yeah. awesome excellent thank you guys both of you for joining me and uh, i'm just looking forward to you know have a great uh, okay so i chose saturday for this uh, because i thought maybe we can have our own nice saturday a uh, thing where we are not discussing all the technical stuff but we are kind of meeting each other or on a saturday evening or a saturday morning for you guys uh, virtually so maybe we you know just uh, continue this for the next few more saturdays that we are doing this project um so yeah uh, i just put on this bright uh, you know red lipstick today just to feel very saturday saturday at work <laughs> so and, uh, so here i just uh, i mean we just woke up and i came back from my exercise and i was like let me just jump in on the call so I thank you thank you so time. much one, one, <laughs> yes. one last uh, thing i would yes. like to say that uh, thanks for what you are doing here honestly speaking reading book is different than having uh, you know team or uh, uh, you know co people friends you know doing it together and hearing them live it's a huge commitment from your part yes. to join mm-hmm. every day at 6 pm yes. indian standard time so thank you everyone for bringing every, you know all of us together and uh, you know taking us through the journey of the book so that's motivating thank you yes thank you so much like i said munmun it's it's really not easy to share this kind of information and be so committed to share it on instagram as well thank you so much it really is changing lives and thank you so much for coming into my life and this book <laughs>
<laughs> thank you so much as long as it's you know benefiting people it's like it feels like you know my purpose is being solved and it just you know makes me you know very very emotional <laughs> so thank you so much thank you okay so i'll get the next few people okay uh i think you guys will have to leave because we have a uh, uh, yeah. restriction of yeah uh, i think the number of people who can join yeah. okay i'm leaving i okay bye 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 okay so i am getting live with vandana i think i should have vandana any moment Hi. Hi. Hi Vandana. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Sorry, I am I'm... in a remote forest. I just came off for the weekend. So I'm somewhere I'm trying to find signal and talking <laughs> to you. But I uh Munmun, I have to tell you thank you so much. Munmun, the amount of fat diets I have gone through, I don't think anybody would have gone through honestly. <laughs> and uh, you know i i have been suffering from uh, i can't say suffering is a natural thing so i have been menopausal and yeah. i'm going to be 53 and i'm menopausal and i have had crazy crazy time i out of the blue suddenly i realized that i just put on weight just out of the mm. blue and mm. then after that my belly fat my belly just started coming out okay i don't know people say because i've had a hysterectomy i've had a cesarean so possibly it's because of that but mun mun two weeks my belly has gone in yeah that mm. is something which is unbelievable mm. unbelievable i just uh, you know find it uh, it's magic absolute <laughs> magic and i i'm sure i've lost weight because suddenly i feel my clothes are fitting and you know uh, the clothes that i put away and i said yeah ab to fit nahi hoga so let me wait <laughs> and but they are fitting so uh, i mean thanks to uh, you and your team this is just brilliant totally this brilliant so this is so nice yeah. to hear you know because uh, you know i feel uh, you know because the, of the many uh, experiences that i have had with clients reaching your age and stage of life they actually don't even want to try anything new in terms of health and diet and stuff so let me first congratulate you for being so brave you. and you know uh, courageous to even you know uh, take that effort because you know honestly especially with women it's not with men you know with women they yeah. feel somehow ki you know wo ek hota hai na ki bas to retirement hai matlab ab to wo ho gaya ab to kya karna hai ha so ha, ha. so so no, no, no so, retirement <laughs> exactly yeah. so you know it's a, it's a lot to do with your spirit uh, that you have yeah. uh, you know gone ahead and done this project and been a part of this project and just keeping up with things yeah. because i read your forms you have been consistent uh you have been filling up the yeah. week 1 week 2 and yeah. you have been responding to our dms and everything yeah. so of course it's a lot of your effort and that is why and you know i does. love your i love your recipes okay so i'm a chef i i run a restaurant oh. in bangalore wow. um, but i just love your recipes so my cuisine is more global i'm not into indian but the stuff that you have come up with and i go through your recipes it's just brilliant yeah i mean yeah. millet we used to ye millet ye kon khata hai ragi especially in bangalore oh god ragi mudde you know you when you yeah, say that yeah. you think oh this is a poor man's khana mm-hmm. but i mean i started making dosas with it i have started you know uh, millet dosa uh, just you know grinding it and putting masala and in the sense pyaaz wagaira dal ke everything is brilliant simple thing like coke that you do now that you get the grasshopper with coconut milk and jaggery i mean that's to die for i have that for which dinner one? also by the way which one <laughs> the coconut milk with that grasshopper rice grasshopper grasshopper how uh, savvy gay you have one savvy i know okay, yes, yes 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 us ko thoda i put little coconut milk and i yeah. i add a little bit of jaggery I yeah. mean that is the that I can have one small bowl with dinner also. Yeah. But yeah. I must tell you, Munwan, appetite has come down. Sweet cravings have come down. You know this constant thing of chai pina has finished. There's no chai. I don't drink chai. There's enough. I have my you know suba ka jo tum uh, kara banake. I have that uh, you know uh, mix of 
दारू हल्दी एंड दैट दैट देन दैट यू नो द त्रिफुला तो आई हैड अ इनिशियल प्रॉब्लम बट दैट सॉर्टेड आउट बट आई मीन दिस जस्ट बिल्ड इन आई डोंट नीड चाय सी आई एम एट एट अ फॉरेस्ट एंड आई एम होल्डिंग माय कप बिकॉज़ आई हैव टू हैव डिनर इन हाफ एन आवर लाइक यू नो but it's That's just so brilliant. thank you so much yeah thank you so much you are most welcome and please stay put and we are going to do this more often and i just yes. you know uh, want to see you more often so keep filling up the forms Done. and uh, Done. yeah and and i just uh, before you leave just for all the audience here because uh, i think 99% of the people have said that the cravings have gone away so uh, in fact it is explained in this book also and i i'm assuming that all of you have read this book yeah. so um it's simply because all the inflammatory molecules and the bad microbes are being washed off and that's the reason why we are eating in a certain way why we are doing yeah. these phases why we are restricting certain foods and all those things and it's only these microbes that actually drive you crazy the bad ones hmm. uh, because they keep you know telling you ki nahi nahi wo pastry khao nahi nahi wo sugar khao hmm. and we hmm. keep blaming ourselves but it's not us to be blamed correct. so the, the moment these microbes are washed off you get back to sanity and you st- you get back hmm. to the original natural human constitution hmm. which is uh, you know uh, getting um, uh, you know uh, ha- having the likes for good food because that is how yeah. we have always eaten right uh before yeah. the no but uh, you know what divya what divya said yeah. about yeah. you know the fact that uh, you are you're constantly blaming yourself which is yeah. so true that i i was constantly blaming myself that you know what is this i don't have you know uh, this thing uh, how can i go fall through this why am i doing this i don't have self control and you're constantly yeah. blaming yourself little realizing hello there's actually something wrong somewhere na Yeah, but uh, thanks again, yar. So one thing we have Saransh joining us. Saransh, hi. hi. How are you? Hi. Hi, one one. Hi, one one. Uh, hi. Uh, nice connecting hi, with hi. you guys. So Saransh, you're joining us from where? Please tell everybody. Yeah. I so know where I am, you're joining from. Yeah. Hey, so hey, guys, I am from Faridabad. Fine, and let me just okay. give you some uh, history about myself. So, uh, I was like quite fit. I'm following Jam from. Three four years now, but before COVID, like after COVID happened, then I put on five six kilos. Then I had a history of liver injury. Then I reduced ten kg, and and after I uh, revived, then I again put on thirteen kg. So that's like the fluctuation in last one and a half year I have faced. And after putting on those thirteen kg, it was like becoming very difficult for me to going back into that normal shape. And I'm just keeping trying to keep my weight stable from last six months. but now after i was uh, following monmon from quite some time and i just pre ordered the book and and now i thought okay before summers come in delhi when there should be something i need to fit in my clothes that was the objective and so i awesome. uh, like it's been two weeks and it's not just about diet it's like i'm not doing that uh, uh, calculation of how many calories i need to take the calculation Correct. of protein intake okay you need to take 80 g and because of those liver injury doctor advised not to do very heavy weight lifting fine or right. not to do any ayurvedic things so i'm very cautious about taking any heating elements especially right so, so currently i'm taking only trifla and daru vera and that too i'm just taking once and just starting slowly because i have that belief because i'm like pretty scared after all those incidents but right. last two okay. weeks like craving side right now i'm feeling very light like before uh, in work from home i had to take a nap in the afternoon so that's not required now i am not uh, mm-hmm. even need my coffee i used to think okay once i have my coffee my caffeine levels go up and that's that supporting me to work but that was something a uh, false maybe assumptions and now from yeah. last two weeks no tea no coffee and still i'm my potential has increased or my efficiency has increased and so it's not just a diet it's a completely a lifestyle change I would say, and yeah, thanks, Manmohan, for aren't sharing you these secrets. <laughs> aren't you relieved? Aren't you relieved that I'm... we don't have to count calorie calories? Right, that is the right. worst. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. pathetic. Yeah, I mean, I cannot do it for yeah. A, yeah. yeah, I cannot do it for a day. You know, like as a nutritionist, honestly. So I was like studying engineering. I'm talking about twenty years back, of course, when I just started, uh, you know, getting into college. 
so i was doing engineering and then i was like no no this is like something that i felt that it doesn't resonate with me and then so it's like like my personal journey then where i you know got into nutrition and fitness and for once i thought because firstly i'm i was pathetic at maths so when i got into <laughs> nutrition it's science that i loved you know talking you know reading about human physiology and stuff and engineering is all maths right so when i left that i felt oh wow it's so nice now no maths at least and then moment i got into nutrition everybody was like acha so every second friend of mine would just look at me acha you're studying nutrition so acha isme kitne calories hain i'm like yaar hmm. matlab am i supposed to do all the calculation here also uh, so i was like this is not working because if something is something i cannot do for a day i should not be expecting my clients to do it correct you know for right. six weeks you or know, 10 weeks or whatever Uh, yeah. Moon, all the myths, all the myths you have just, you know, changed everything. Yeah. <laughs> all the stories, all the calories, all the protein. Oh my God! How much chicken I have put in my body? I know. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like that tasteless yeah. things from those tasteless chicken. I'm just eating continuously boiled eggs. Fine for no reason. I was not yeah. liking it, oh. but yeah, and it wasn't even helping me. Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole myth, na. That means carbs to not eat. Like we just had Divya and Vishwanath, and uh, even you guys. Uh, like, who uh, uh, diabetes? Me, they say diabetes. So carbs don't eat. And here we had Vishwanath, who in fact said that I millets eat so much that my glucose is low. And hmm. millets is all carbs, hmm. right? Uh, Divya was talking about insulin, uh, you know, issues with PCOD and stuff, and she is eating all the carbs, rice, millets, and uh, you know, all yeah. doing well. So carbs को तो पता नहीं क्यों ऐसा मतलब demon बना के रखी है I just I don't know. understand seriously even I don't understand but thank you so much I mean all that is over I feel I'm normal यार अभी otherwise yeah. I would feel <laughs> like I'm chicken खा रही हूँ अंडा खा रही हूँ carbs नहीं खा रही हूँ I'm hungry I have cravings but I started feeling normal you know that yeah. is all so, Sarah, right she, yeah yeah normal as in feel life then, during the day yeah yeah So Sarah, she also mentioned about the metabolism that you felt that your metabolism is almost close to dead, and uh, right. something about your metabolism, like you mentioned. So can we hear that? Yeah. So as I said, like I was from last six months, I have a very controlled diet. I'm not like very overeating stuff, fine, and maintaining a very timely schedule. But still, I'm not able to uh, just uh, control the weight, but not able to reduce it from a stage. Fine, I'm doing mm-hmm. continuous yoga. when i'm doing continuous running but but nothing is just it's only keeping me stable and not able to reduce mm-hmm. anything it's just that it's right. not so it's like a plateau like a plateau right, they say right like they, right yeah yeah so you think yeah. you have broken like hit you have uh, like being able to break that plateau now yes yes so i have reduced 2 kilos in last 2 weeks and that's like a enormous change for me i would say because i have seen 6 months journey to reduce 2 kg and now it's now coming in two weeks so it it feels very mm. like giving it a lot of confidence in the next Amazing. next two phases excellent excellent so great so uh, you know uh, what i'll still say though i really love to hear about these stories what i will still say is that don't measure your progress in terms of numbers of kilos uh, all the other good things that are happening in terms of cravings in terms of lightness like you said that your efficiency has uh become hmm, better right. you know those let that be the focus because uh what happens is that you know uh, your body is only going to shed till a certain uh, hmm. point if if the, the body is not going to shed if the body feels ki abhi aur kam kiya then your life systems can be in danger then the body is okay. not going to shed because the body always wants to do the best for you that's body's natural intelligence Uh, right. Why I'm saying this, Sarah? Because you already like look very nice and lean to me right now. So, <laughs> so you have already like, lost. I have a <laughs> belly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be definitely taken care of with the diet. With this, because like you said, you have already lost two kgs in two weeks. So you will see a lot of this belly going away in the coming weeks. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will show on the scale. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm, because it, even if it, it does. even if it does let's not make that our focus that's that mm-hmm. that is it what i'm yeah. wanting to say right yeah. right yeah it's yeah. a lifestyle change i am yeah. taking it up yeah true brilliant thank you so much you both thank joined you. me uh, thank you thank you for sharing your thanks, thanks. valuable time thank you so much thank you thank you bye
i'll just get in another set of people so um i see sapshani shabs hani who has okay then uh, we have okay bhavna is here but i don't know i'm not able to get her okay okay so we can have one more participant and after that we'll uh, close down um, i think shalini is joining me shalini uh, she says i want to join shalini i have already sent you a request i think you uh, it says shalini isn't able to join uh, shalini you need to figure out because it's saying that you aren't able to join so i'm I guess Moon Moon, you need to remove one of us or both of us. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then only they so can join. So I join. think you guys can just. You guys need to just uh, uh, leave the uh, live. Okay. Yeah, we we'll yeah. do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. I think. we have somebody joining i have <laughs> accepted quite a few requests so hey hello uh, please introduce yourself because i sent the request by i accepted too many requests because none of them were working yeah so i i'm i don't know i mean man thanks a lot for the opportunity i've been following you for quite uh, some time and i was eagerly waiting for your book to get released i did a pre booking and uh, you know very excited and uh, I don't know. Whatever I wanted to talk, I think already the you know the people <laughs> live before me have covered it. Would like to add uh, you know few more points. Just okay. tell us where you are speaking from. Just yes. just tell people your name and where you are speaking from so that they know you. Uh, you know because that's the also the point of doing this live so that we all know each other. We all are participants and you know in the same boat. Uh, so yes. Yeah. So my name is Shabana uh, and I. Uh, currently in Kerala, that's my home state. Uh, so because of all okay. the work from home situation, I moved right. to my home state, and nice. I work. So uh, yeah, coming back to uh, this, uh, you know, the topic why we are here, right? Uh, you know, I'm from a, uh, uh, you know, I'm from Kerala, and uh, my ancestors, my parents, everybody is into Ayurveda. You know, I, I mean, okay. I've been. grown up hearing all the benefits of ayurveda and my parents till date they follow ayurveda ayurvedic principles the way of eating and everything and i don't know at one point of time you get out of your house and you go stay in some other cities or you know you stay in other countries and then you completely lo- you know you know you lost yeah, that new touch, touch with your you know uh, yeah. wisdom right yeah. and i think your book brings me back and i'm sure just like me there will be lot others who are benefiting with uh, you know going back to the roots of ayurveda linking you know connecting those dots uh, you know it makes a lot of sense you know when you say you should eat according to the sun you know when you have your high metabolism you should have a heavy lunch you should finish your dinner before uh, 7 pm and once i started doing it 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 has you know it it I don't know. Automatically, it became a habit for me in the last, you know, um, two weeks. I think it's not an effort. It it happens effortlessly after a point. Yeah, yeah. Because herbal supplements, um, you know, the the way. Uh, yeah, I I completely gave up the you know the old toothpaste and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Organic. It feels good. It feels so good. There's a lot of benefit uh, I am getting out of it, and I would like to especially uh, touch upon one point. Uh, rather than any kind of benefits like feeling light, uh, you know, always having a happy tummy, I'm eating only when I'm hungry. Uh, apart from all that, it's more about you know feeling mentally happy uh, in your diet. uh which is which which doesn't give you any kind of you know depriving or you know always thinking about i have to reach out uh, to you know some sweets eat it i think uh, that's the best part of it you know and 
I had, I, mean, I think this work from home situation, um, you know, has brought us into kind of a lot of anxiety. Um, you're, mm. you're depressed most of the time. And sometimes you, you really do. I really didn't know that, you know, it's, it's the, it's the microbe or the hormones, which is really making me feel miserable sometimes. Yeah. With yeah. This, the way of new eating and this lifestyle, I'm, I'm feeling really, really good. I mean, outside and inside yeah. <laughs> and i think that's the best that's the best that i've got into um, so yeah it's uh, you know the one point that you had mentioned in your book like the brain fog you have con- you're confused you're clear about stuff i think there's there's a lot of mental clarity you're getting while you're eating yeah. right uh, you, you know where to stop uh, so overall, I'm feeling really great, uh, Munmun. Thanks to you, and I really have to, uh, you know, uh, convey a lot of thanks to you and your team because it's a it's a big effort that you're putting, right? Uh, not just through the book, but coming every day, ten minutes spending with uh, the, you know, the, all of us, able to clear, pick each little topic that you have put in your book. I mean, able to talk to us, and we are able to, you know, get answers from you and your team immediately. That's that's really great. And I'm looking forward to phase two and phase three. And even, um, yeah, at another point, I'm just like somebody else mentioned before, I am a, I was a totally tea person. Okay? I don't know how many uh, cup of tea I need in a day because while I'm working, uh, I don't know. I always felt getting that one cup of tea is really going to make me feel better. You know, that's how I used to feel. It's, it's two weeks and, you know, I, I don't want that the milk wala tea. I'm, I'm happy. Once in a while, I'm having the black tea and, and I'm, I'm good with it. You know. So, yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice and good. Really good. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, but the thing is that, you know, it's just been a little selfishness because uh, when the book was out, I didn't know who's reading it, right? Uh, so I wanted to know who are these people who are following it. I wanted to see you. I wanted to talk to you. And that is why, you know, <laughs> I think I've just been selfish enough to do this project because, uh, uh, you know, had this project not been there, we would not have been talking today. And, uh, you know, I probably would not have, have had a friend in Kerala, which I have now. So uh, next time I visit, I'm sure you at least want to come and pick me up in the airport, right? Sure. <laughs> So, yeah, so my community is, you know, getting bigger and, you know, there's nothing uh, better than that uh, for a, you know, person like me at least, you know, I love Kerala, I'm just going off topic right now, but it's like one of the most amazing uh, places in India for me. Firstly, there's a lot of Ayurveda uh, connect, uh, like you also mentioned, like your family has always been into Ayurveda because I feel the way Ayurveda is in Kerala, uh, the very, very few places in India which have that Ayurveda, uh, the authentic Ayurveda still left. And mm-hmm. Kerala is one of them. So that brings me, you know, the yoga and the Ayurveda thing brings me to Kerala very often. And I love South India. I love the Kerala food. So, you know, I love the rice. I love the banana. I love the coconut. So everything is something that I love. And I just, I have a lot of friends actually in Kerala. And I just... I think, in fact, you see in the recipes also, there is one recipe which is completely, completely Kerala recipe, which is the uh, Uluwa Kanji. Yes. 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 That's the point I would, you know, want to tell, you know, who is watching, you know, it is a book for everyone. It's not just, yeah. uh, you have recipes from like north, south, east, west, yeah. part of the country you are in you have your own recipes there so it's very easy to relate uh, you know the, the example is uliwa kanji when maybe it's a fenugreek <laughs> yeah yeah that's a common thing that we uh, carelites take when it's month monsoon because it's really yeah. healthy yeah it detoxes your body and that is why in phase one it works very well for people like you like for people like you it works very well yeah so it's amazing. I mean, uh, I and um, in terms of okay, coming to the physical acts, you know, a- aspects of how I feel, I feel really light, and um, 
working working from home for the last one and a half years i had put on a lot of weight okay and i i mean i really used to blame myself and i used to think on the same you know on the other hand i used to think like i am eating the same portions i am i haven't increased the portion what i eat i am controlling everything but why am i putting on weight or why am i not able mm. to lose weight you know yeah i think uh, more than as you just said are more than uh, what we look for you know losing weight by the scale or anything more than that i think the benefit should be uh, you know on a very holistic level right? yeah being mentally good feeling light having a good appetite being able to say no to things you know exactly being very sorted in the mind is also i think what this diet does you get very sorted in the mind you can hear about zillions of diets in future but trust me nothing is going to bother you because you know you will know that you know what i'm doing is just perfect and you won't even want to break your sanity uh, you know uh, getting bothered with any new thing that comes up in future uh, we have you know by god's grace i have clients who have worked with me you know 15 years back even today like you know uh they would text me or email me uh so that that's like i think one of the most uh, when when you say job satisfaction for me that's like one of the most uh, important aspect of a job satisfaction because usually in my industry what happens is like today a person does a diet and then you know he's off the diet in the next month and of course if that person is off the diet next month is also off the nutritionist so uh but if i'm able to have these bonds with my clients and with all of you people for many many years to come then i think this is this what my what the purpose of my work and purpose of my life is so yes. brilliant thank you so much for all of you you know doing this project we spoke to few people today and we are going to do this every saturday uh, as i said we are going to have a nice own personal saturday evening and you know trying to have a um a nice um, virtual uh, you know get together on a saturday and we are going to do this more often and really sorry for those who i couldn't get in today or who i couldn't join uh, send the, uh, accept the request today but definitely we are going to make up for this and we are going to do this every week thank you so much and thank stay you. tuned again for tomorrow 6 pm for the live thank you bye bye bye